Can you see what I'm showing you? I'm showing you some items that are very important for you to see because they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, can you see my neck? Okay. Can you see my ears? Okay. Like, that's why I have my hair this way so you can see it. Because if, if I have it down like this, then you don't see it. You don't appreciate it, you know? Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Ooh la la. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So today I want us to have a conversation about something that I think is very important for us to talk about, right? But before we get into that conversation, I need to tell you why I'm doing like this, you know, and I'm doing like this, and I'm doing like this. <laughs> it's because I am wearing my beautiful, gorgeous Anna Luisa jewelry. Oh my gosh, like, take a look at this. Take a look, look at that ring. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, the one reason why I love Ana Luisa jewelry is that it's sleek, it's beautiful, it's classic, and it is of high quality. Okay, okay. This isn't jewelry that's gonna turn black tomorrow. This is quality. I mean, look at that pen that's, you know what? Let me move closer. Okay, so you can see, this one is my wedding ring, by the way, in case you don't know. Okay. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And it's like, look at it. It's very simple, but it, it, it's so beautiful. And this right here is the necklace that I am in love with. You're going to be seeing it a lot on this channel because it's so sleek. I love this love pendant. And it's so sleek. Okay, look at that. It's simple, but it's making a very classy statement. You know, I don't have to do too much, yet I still look beautiful with my jewelry. And then there's the ring as well. <laughs> this is probably arguably one of my favorite pieces from Anna Luisa ever. You know, I have quite a lot of the jewelry, but it's so beautiful. Look at that. You have to go copy yourself some Anna Luisa jewelry if you don't already have some. They're having a massive sale right now, okay? A massive Black Friday sale where you buy one and you get the second one 60, 60, 60 off. Okay, so maybe you can buy this one and we can be matching, you know, we can become sisters. What do you think? If you have never heard of Ana Luisa, then they sell beautiful collections of jewelry. They're slick. They have various designs that just catches your eyes. Like when you go on there, it's just you get this one, you get that one. And most importantly, they are of great quality, amazing quality. So Ana Luisa is definitely quality that you can bank on, okay? Make sure to use the link down below in the description box so that you can get to the 60% of the second item. So it's buy one, get 66. That's more than half percentage of the second item that you get, okay? So what are you waiting for? Go check it out, I am sure. If not anything, I'm sure you're going to find something that you love on the Ana Luisa website, okay? Okay, so one thing I wanted us to talk about was this old thing of girls saying, oh, you know, I'm not going to sleep with him unless he marries me or I'm not going to sleep with him until he marries me or whatever, you know. And that's great, right? I know by Bleakly, yes, fornication is even a sin and all of that. So if you're doing it out of faith, out of your belief in God, you know, not wanting to sin, then that is more than enough reason. However, there, there are a lot of women that have this misconception that, oh, you know, if you withhold sex from a guy, he'll be much more inclined to marry you, you know, or to, to keep him around. And, you know, that relationship would eventually lead to marriage. The first thing I want to emphasize is that it takes two to tango. Okay, it takes two, two people. Consensual, well, I'm talking about consensual now. I'm not talking about any other situation. Consensual, it takes two to tango. We need to get rid of this mindset of, oh, uh, after he slept with me. Sis, you, you, you slept with him too. It's, it's a two-way street. 
you know so it's 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 a two-way street you know as long as it is consensual then it's it takes two to tango so it's not a thing of giving something you're also collecting the man is also doing the giving as well so i, I just want us to establish that that oh you know get rid of that mindset that oh after i did this after i did that it's just all of that is by the way the second thing i want us to note is that gone are those days you know where they will tell you oh you know if you if you if you withhold it you know to keep him around and it, 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 it was that's that's not how you want to re approach your relationship you don't want to approach a lifetime relationship with games and tricks and and things like that like oh i'm going to trick him with pregnancy or you know i'm, I'm not going to uh, sleep with him so that you know he can i can and keep him around what if he goes out and gets it elsewhere do you understand my point is you don't want someone to be with you just because of what they can get from you you know or just because of what you think you have to offer you don't place your value as a woman as a being you know on that thing your entire value of who you are don't place it on something as just on that one thing that shouldn't determine your value don't say oh you know um after i gave him my v card and then uh you know he's going to treat me this way listen v card or no v card sleeping together or not sleeping together that is not a determinant of a relationship that will go the distance of a marriage that will go the distance you know that is not it is not a guarantee that that man isn't still going to cheat on you okay it, it, it is not so get me right you know i'm not saying oh go out there start to do whatever you know by all means you know it's a sin it's a sin that's established what i'm trying to do is to correct a misconception okay because a lot of people seem to have this idea that oh um it's one of the uh, answers to a successful marriage or to a successful relationship is oh you know if you withhold it then by the time you worry a hair you know then you want it all the time that's a lie a man that is not disciplined will cheat a man that wants to cheat will cheat a man who doesn't fear god will cheat okay those i believe are a lot of factors that goes into a woman cheating or a man cheating so it's very important for you not to build your relationship on games and lies and with withholding things even in marriage as well they would say well it was one of the things i remember they mentioned to us during our counseling our premarital counseling session and it was that no matter how angry you get when you are married and all of that you don't want to withhold from each other as a source of punishment no matter how angry you get like oh you know for that two things sex and food you you don't want to do that you don't want to say oh i'm so angry please get away one month later you're still angry you're still you know you're using it as a source of punishment you don't want to do that you know because it's just not right and it goes both ways as well so don't build a relationship that is based on lies that is based on deceit that is based on you know games it's just it's just childish by all means yes do what you want to do but do what you want to do for the right reasons you know don't do it because you want to trick the person i mean yes if you want to be celibate then that is great even if you're not a virgin but you're choosing to be celibate then know that okay i'm choosing to be celibate because i want to be celibate not because oh i feel like if i am celibate then i'll get a good man that will marry me no no you won't you get a man who is only after one thing one thing you know and there's a thing with men of being able to say oh you know um i i, I was the one you know that's why ray j will still go and do song uh, and, uh, i use it first it's just it's just childish it's absolutely unnecessary it doesn't do anything do you understand like there's that thing we meant you used to say oh i hit it first i did that so if you go around with that 
thing on your head that says, oh, you know, I have my V-card, but I'm only going to give it to the man that marries me. I have my V-card, but it's not, it's just marry me, marry me, marry me. So it's V-card, marriage, and then you get it. More often than not, you will get a man that doesn't actually want you, but wants that V-card, just so he can say, oh, I got the V-card. And so men will go, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be shocked the distance some men will go to, the extent some men will go to just to achieve their goals, just to achieve their aims, their evil goals and evil aims, and you don't want to fall into that situation. So even if you still have your V-card, how about you hide it? Keep it to yourself. Just say, you know what, you know, you're just being celibate, you know, you know, you know, like don't, don't put it out there so that it doesn't become something that attracts all manner of men do you understand Don't just feel the men out get to know them you know or whoever it is that you're dating or you're interested in dating get to know the person first understand how the person thinks how the person reasons what are the person's thoughts on this issue in general not particularly as concerning you, you know, but on the issue in general, feel that person out so that you can know that, ah, this one, it doesn't have sense, you know, and you can move on. Do you understand? Before you've even told the person, you know, what's important to you and all of that. So that way, by the time it does happen, it will happen with the right person. It will be beautiful. You would be, will be happy. The person would be happy. And, you know, it will just all be for the right reasons. Okay? I hope I've communicated my thoughts. I really hope I have. Okay? I mean, if I'm not clear or if there's anything you want me to explain better on, then please make sure to let me know in the comment section. And if you have thoughts on this or personal experiences as well, then I really want to know. Please share them with me or with us down below in the comment section as well. Remember to go use the promo code for the Ana Luisa jewelry, okay? On the website, use the link down below in the description box and go get yours. And let me know when you get yours, okay? Because we can be twins. Or if you don't like this set, again, they have beautiful selections and collections that you will like. So there is something for everyone based on your style and needs, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again very, very soon. I pray God blesses you, your home your marriages, your relationships. Most importantly, I pray God blesses you. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye. <laughs>